I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, damn, nigga, how'd you get this thing, voodoo child? It started with my grandmother, who's from down south, like every black person in his grandmother's from down south, because that happened to be where the ships got dropped off at, and niggas start migrating to other places. You know what I'm saying? So my grandmother, man, she had two chickens. I didn't know she was into that voodoo voodoo shit. Two chickens in the backyard. We little kids, we used to go out and feed them and shit and have a little fun with them. I had named them little Lele and TT. And one day my grandmother take me out in the backyard, she catch one of them by the head. Spun them around till the fucking head popped off. Body just running around. And you can see the little head in her hand just like, why you wanna do that? I thought we was cool and shit. You know, you fed me. <laughs> I ate. I played with the little grandkids and shit. You know, I'm watching my body run around now, bitch. What the fuck up? You know, I'm losing oxygen to, to, to my head and shit. You know, uh, before I black out, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> and I'm sitting there as a kid in a state of shock, man. This is my little buddy, little Lele, dead. And she cooked the motherfucker up that night. I'm going in there, there's little Lele on the kitchen table. And she like, eat up. How the fuck you gonna eat your friend? It wasn't like it was a strange bird I got at the damn grocery store and did. No, that's Lele. I can't eat Lele. Them hunger pains start setting in. Lele looking good in the motherfucker. I had to snatch little lay lay leg off. <laughs> That's only because we friends, man. <laughs> See, I always got you with me. 